OK, so for this part of the question, we know that the power is 384 watts and we've got to find the acceleration A then when V equals 9 meters per second. So that's going to be over this stretch here, this first stretch before it reaches its constant velocity V. Now, we know that power equals the driving force D multiplied by the velocity V. So if we just say that P equals dV, then when V happens to equal 9, we can work out what D would have to be at that point. So just substitute this into this equation along with the power. We therefore have 384 equals D multiplied by 9. And if we divide both sides by 9, you end up with D equaling 384 divided by 9. That cancels down to 128 over 3. And that will be measured in Newtons then. So next, all we need to do is just resolve to the right. So using force equals mass times acceleration, we've got D minus the resistance of 32 Newtons equals the mass, which is 120 kilograms, times the acceleration A. But we now know that D equals 128 over 3. So if we call this equation 1 and we call this equation 2, we just simply sub 1 into 2. Doing that gives us 128 then over 3 minus 32 equals 120A. So if you work that out and divide this answer by 120, well we'll just work that part out first of all. You get 120A equals 32 thirds. But if you now divide 32 thirds by 120, you end up with the acceleration equaling exactly 4 over 45 meters per second per second. You might want to express that as a decimal, which when rounded up, say to two decimal places, is going to be 0 0.09 meters per second per second to 2 dp. But I'll leave it up to you. I'd go for the accurate answer if I was doing it. All right.